hello everyone uh, in this video i'm going to uh, show you the process of setting up your play store and g apps on wsa so let's begin so massive thanks to a delta x for figuring things out and creating this awesome repo i'm going to follow this not so nice readme file uh, that he has provided because uh, it is very difficult for beginners to follow and that is why i'm going to simplify it for you guys so let's do this one by one so first of all what you need to do is uninstall uh, windows of system for android if you have already installed it uh, and we're going to pass the system images and install it again so for that what you want to do is go to store.rz-adguard.net and from here type slash to slash product id and slash uh, this id right there and you need to select the slow channel and click on confirm and then you, do, you need to download this this msix bundle file which is around 1.21 gb in size so that is the first step i've already downloaded it and and it's on my c drive this is the file right there microsoft corporation second yeah this is the file right there so after you've downloaded this you need to install wsl2 so i'm not going to talk about this in detail but uh, what you need to do is uh, if you have not set wsl2 up what you want to do is uh, search for turn windows features on or off so uh, scroll down and turn on um virtual machine platform and windows subsystem for linux once you've done that go to store and download uh, ubuntu or um, debian or any other distro could work as he has specified in the read readme so i'm i'm going to download uh, ubuntu but uh, i've i've already downloaded and set up ubuntu but i'll show you guys how to download and set it up real quick so once the store opens source for ubuntu right there and um, download this this one ubuntu 20.04 lts you, you, you need to install and uh, open um, the ubuntu wsl file and on the first uh, open it will ask you a unix username and password make sure make sure that you remember the password um and uh, and after you've done it, you'll be able to log into WSL2 terminal. So after that is done, what you need to do is open Ubuntu terminal. I've linked it to my Windows terminal right here, but yours might look a little different, little outdated. Uh, so what you need to do is type sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. So I've already done this, so I'll not do it again, but you guys need to do, do this. And after doing this, you need to type sudo apt install on zip and type your password, which you previously set up. Um, I've already installed it. And then you need to type sudo apt install uh, as zip. I've already downloaded that too. So now, it's time for this third step open gapps.org and you guys need to select this toggle x86 underscore 64 android version should be 11 and you need to select the pico package and you can click this button to download the zip it will look something like um this uh, where is the file mm. Yeah, this is the file. It will. It's around one and eight MB, and you need to download this file as well. So after you've downloaded this, uh, what you need to do is extract some things. So the first thing you downloaded that was around one point two GB. If you double click it, uh, the default uh, it will show you the default installation prompt. But you should not install it uh, like this. Uh, right click and click open with and open with 7 zip file manager and after you've done that uh, go one step back and click extract and you can extract to any folders i'm going to extract it to c 
so so this is the main msix package so after it is extracted successfully you need to open this and click on you you can delete all these extra files we don't need it except the last one and this is the night release nightly file and right click this and also um, open it with 7-zip file manager or winrar or anything similar and i click on extract and then ok and let this extract as well so ok it's extracted so what you need to do is you don't need this anymore you can delete it i'm just deleting deleting them because um, there will be a lot of files at the end and it will be confusing so there what you need to delete is there are uh, four files i think that you need to delete uh, the first one is eppx metadata and the second is uh, content types and the third is F eppx block map and this signature file do not delete this xml file because this is what we will use in the future to install you need to delete these four files and then download this repo uh, click on code and click on download zip i'm downloading this on c as well uh, since it's already there so yeah you guys need to download this as well so after you've downloaded this this is the zip file from github you need to extract it as well click on the file copy and paste so yeah so what you need to do is open wsaga script folder and there are two folders here uh, g apps and images so both are empty and they have a simple dummy file so what you need to do is first of all open the extracted package wsa package and copy some files uh, that that those are product.img system system ext and vendor you need to copy these four images and you need to paste it inside the images folder and uh, after that the file you downloaded in this step uh, G apps what you need to do is copy that and paste it inside the G apps uh, directory so I have it installed uh, here so yeah so now I populated G apps and images file so now what you need to do is open these uh, variables.sh file and you need to modify this directory right here. Uh, first of all copy the location of this folder, uh, paste it here and mntc it's fine. You need to copy this and paste it right there and then you need to delete this so this is the root directory that will be accessing from wsl or ubuntu so after you've done this um, i think we've completed this 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 these steps so now what you need to do is open ubuntu so now what you want to do is open this terminal right there of ubuntu and after you've installed everything i'm going to press ctrl l to clear the screen and navigate to this folder so to navigate the C drive from Linux, what you need to do is type cd slash mnt slash c and then wsaga script main ls. So I can see all these files. So now what you need to do is follow some commands right there, given right there. So there are four commands. Uh, do not forget to put sudo in front of them. Type sudo dot slash and the first command why am i not able to copy this 
here and do the same with the four commands what this command uh, will do is they'll use of these these two uh, programs that you installed and will extract uh, the g apps folder inside your has g apps file or folder so this command might take some time and after it's successfully executed type sudo dot slash and uh, the second command make sure there is no any errors and again type sudo dot slash and apply dot sh paste and the final command is on mounting so what these commands will do is they'll patch your images to run um, google apps so okay it's doing things with some ownership stuff okay the files are passed uh, you, you need to type sudo dot slash on mount image so on mounting completed so yeah that is it that is it you're good to go now so now the final step is open powershell uh, preferably ise as administrator because it will auto complete commands um then what you need to do is uh, navigate to the folder that you have been working on that is cd c slash uh what was the folder i forgot yes this wsaga script main oh i i i missed a step so before you do that uh, what you need to do is uh, go to the images file now these images are already passed copy these four images uh, go back and um, back and go to this folder this is the extracted uh, folder from this msix package go to this folder uh, these this is where you initially copied uh, the images files from you need to paste it uh, replace this these uh, img files so now from PowerShell, you need to navigate to this file, not the WSAGA script file, but this file, Microsoft Corporation. I need to go inside this, this folder as well, WSA. So now there are all the files. Now I'm able to uh, execute this command. Uh, what was that command? ADD APP X package not it app package and then hyphen register and then dot slash appx manifest dot xml and press enter and it will install windows subsystem for android and that is passed now it's installed uh, open this and turn on developer mode and at first you'll not see any IP address there and that is why you need to click on this button to open uh, files select continue and it will boot up Windows subsystem for Android with uh, with uh, G apps or Play Store but uh, the Play Store sign in will not work you need to mod modify some things uh, to modify that what you need to do is uh, open command prompt again and make sure adb is working yeah if it's not working please refer to my previous video and if it's working what you need to do is open uh, open this uh, github repo file so that is script main and uh, uh, open this MISC folder right and copy this kernel right and you need to paste it so yeah now Windows subsystem for Android is already there and now you should be seeing an IP address and if you still don't see turn off developer mode turn on developer mode and you'll see an IP address 
and uh, uh, the kernel file you copied you need to paste it inside the tools folder but it will not let, let you paste right now because uh, this is opened so turn off for now and after it is turned off uh, paste the kernel and uh, the final step is to open a command prompt I'm going to clear the screen and type ADB shell and it will say no devices or emulators found that is why you need to connect to your um, machine uh, what what you can do is uh, Play Store is already there it will open but uh, it will not work the sign in features a uh, feature will not work that is what we are configuring right now so you need to type this command ADB connect and uh, open the soft system and connect to that IP address right there or you can even type local host because it's local host IP and 58526 port number right there 5 uh, 58526 right so yeah fail to authenticate if you connect it again it says already connected now you can type adb shell and type su for super user access so as you can see the google play store is open but sign in is not working it's working now because i've already configured it uh, so what you need to do is type su and this this final command right there so what is the command mm, set in force zero set in force zero yeah this is the final step you can close out of all the other terminals and you'll be able to sign into the play store thank you for watching my tutorial and if you did not understand anything or got confused you can comment it down below join my discord and thank you for watching this video